Okay, okay. Welcome back, boys. So, uh, it's been a busy couple weeks for me, Ryan. Life's been getting in the way. But I decided I'd make a quick video uh, where I change the clutch on the FZ and uh, I do some work on the turbo. The main thing I'm going to be doing is replacing the turbo bearing and replacing this turbo oil feed line fitting right here. Right. Um, so, we're going to follow the steps on getting this turbo off the turbo. Uh, off the FZ07, right? Maybe you guys can see a little bit more about how I built the build, what decisions I made. Um, it's been running pretty good. I still need to sort the tune out and I've been working on an ECU replacement. I've got the wiring harness, right? I bought this off eBay. I'm gonna splice that into the Speedwino, right? Over the next couple weeks. So until then, let's do the physical work. So in order, what we have here is the new heavy duty clutch spring kit. I'm gonna upgrade the clutch springs inside the FZ. We've got a new front sprocket because the front sprocket I have has about 20,000 miles on it. It's definitely due for a replacement. We've got turbo oil bearing. So you're gonna see me tear the turbo down. I'm gonna replace this bearing. Put a little bit of oil in the turbo before I put it back together. A new turbo feed line fitting, right? Keep the, basically I realized the turbo is not getting enough oil and that's spinning out these bearings, right? So new bearing, better feed line. Hopefully that solves my problem for good. And of course, a replacement clutch because the clutch I have has 20,000 miles on it. And honestly, I didn't know how to drive a bike quite that good yet. Or at least I didn't know how to drive a sports bike quite that good yet. And I used to ride the clutch a lot when I first got the FZ. And now you can definitely feel the clutch going out on it, so. All right, guys, so it's time. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim these down so they're a little easier to take off on uh, from here on out all right i've got my little angle grinder down there so i'm going to grind this off all right so we got it ground down all right so we got that ground down see it looks a lot more stable now okay okay i then grab my tin socket and I go ahead and pop that off. Same position. Tin socket. All right. And there we go. So we've got the intake side of the turbo popped off. Look at these nice little welds here. Not pretty, but they work. And they keep this coupler on. Then I just, ah. okay. So I popped it out of its boots back there. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I've got the intake boots popped off. All right. Next thing I do is I take off this vacuum line that goes back to the throttle body. If you follow this back here, past my zip ties, you'll see that it's actually connected to the throttle body vacuum sink line right there. See if I can get it to focus in on it. Okay. Oh, no. Nah. Right. So that's connected back to like the vacuum line behind the throttle body. Right. And that's connected to this blow off valve to help keep uh, boost in the control. As you can see, a lot of this bike is held together with zip ties. Right. They're amazing and what they let you do. But I'm slowly gonna try to get away from the zip ties here. So what is this line? This line is the boost reference line for the fuel pressure regulator. So this line goes down here. You see this little split right here, right? And this split on this side is the uh, blow off valve for the turbo. On this side is that uh, vac or boost reference line and it goes all the way up here, up to the fuel pressure regulator. So we'll just pull this out. Hold on. And there we go. All right. So now the line holding the fuel pressure regulator is out. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the fuel pressure regulator off, actually. All right. It's, uh, I need to redo this adapter. So I'm going to not redo it tonight, but redo it tomorrow before I release this video. So you'll hopefully at some point see the updated bracket right 
and uh, I'm gonna try to make this look better, right? A lot of this was just me testing it, but now I realize I'm probably gonna be keeping this on for a while, and so I should probably get it looking less janky. So we'll continue from there. Okay, okay, gents. So we got the fuel pressure regulator unmounted, right? I'm probably gonna have to take a look at this. It's not going in all the way, so I think maybe I stripped the threads going into that. So I'm gonna see if I can get my thread chaser, chase the thread and see if I can get it all the way in. Um, I'm about to take the, this is actually the pressure line. This side goes towards the fuel injectors. This side comes from the bottom of the fuel tank, right? So you can see here, I cut the regular fuel tank fitting line and I basically just spliced it with a 6 a.m. line right and some 6 a.m. fittings so we're making progress right soon we'll be getting the turbo itself off right we're gonna make some quick and dirty changes as we go and then uh, we'll take it from there all right so we made some progress right we've got all the uh, I guess miscellaneous bullshit off right this is the sensor for the boost gauge I gotta find a better place to mount it than up there probably gonna zip tie it somewhere back there, right? Uh, I also gotta replace the sensor, the back plastic broke off. You can see it uh, here. Well, actually I might use some glue and glue it back together. All right, all right. So I've got the oil or the turbo feed line disconnected, right? I'm gonna be replacing this fitting right here with this. All right, so we'll start by replacing this fitting first, right? I figure you should uh, start fixing stuff as you take it apart. So see you guys in a few. Okay, so we got this off right here. This is the turbo oil feed line. As you can see, it goes down right here to that little T-tap that feeds the oil pressure sensor, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swap this out. All right, guys, some more progress. So what we did is we got the turbo oil feed line disconnected from the turbo. This is the line, all right? As you can see, it goes all the way back down here to the to this little T-tap there. This is just a standard oil T-tap. It'll be included in my final parts list, right? I'll include a link to it on Amazon. Um, so it goes from there, it feeds into the turbo. All right, I'm just gonna replace this little black fitting right here, and then there's like another black fitting into the turbo itself. What I did was I used this first fitting to kind of feed into the turbo, and I tapped it for the same thread size as this. So I'm gonna take it apart, swap it to a bigger line with no restrictor, right? And we'll go from there. Okay, guys, we've got the turbo off, all right? As you can see, I kind of have one bolt facing this way. You can see that little socket there. And then the other two bolts facing that way, like screwing into the turbo. Uh, I'm probably gonna see if I can hit this with a grinder, grind away some of this rust that's grown on it, right? Maybe hit it with another can of paint before I put everything back together. Uh, past that, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the water pump off right here and uh, see if I can get this crankcase cover off and see if we can get the clutch replaced. I might also see if I can like sand this down a little bit maybe give this side of the crankcase another coat of paint or a coat of paint to kind of hide all these scratches the bike's definitely been down once when i first got it about a year after i got it i dropped it on the driveway so we'll clean that up start getting it looking good see you guys soon all right and we're back so the turbo's off right uh the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this crankcase cover off we're gonna probably have to release this right maybe loosen this bolt release it so we can get this uh crankcase cover off get on these bolts off get this water pump off right and then the crankcase should just crankcase cover should just come off what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these bolts off right we're gonna disconnect this cable uh this clutch cable assembly right we're gonna disconnect the water pump down here and then everything should just pop right off right then we can get this new clutch pack in get these heavy duty clutch springs in. They're about 15% stiffer, which should help it, uh, you know, help keep the power down and help the bike um, go a little bit quicker, right? 
Another thing I'm probably gonna do eventually is get new tires because these ones are kind of, these are shitty. These are the cheapest Dunlops I could find just to keep the bike running. And I feel like something grippier will definitely help the bike stay on the ground more. But first we'll start with this and um, we'll go from there.